Okay, so uh, top secret this week is part of our My Little Hacker series. And I like the intro that I made for this, so I'm going to do it again. And then we're going to talk about the latest in some toy hacking. My Little Hacker, My Little Hacker, building with you is magical. My Little Hacker, My Little Hacker, it's time to build and show. Okay. So um, we posted this up on the socials. I'm like, hey, try to guess what this is. So uh, what is this lady? Here? This is, uh, and this is the 3D rendering. I like these renderings. So they really give me a good sense of what it is. And this is the CAD output. I finished writing this the morning. Schematic. Yeah. This is schematic. So this what is, is um, replacement brains for the um, baby the Einstein tick Oh, you've got a whole stuff here. No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't. Yeah. This is the uh, Baby Einstein take along, and mm -hmm. this is a replacement board. You can pop out the board that's in there, and then you can put your own music in it. And if you know what this thing is and know how it repeats the same songs forever, you probably want to put different music in it. All right, do you want to? Yeah, it's like this weird chip tuny. Uh, yeah, let's go to the overhead. So this is the, uh, this is the toy, <laughs> which is now off. I just kind of like it's a little like you know you need a, a toy to entertain uh, a young kiddo or maybe an adult. Uh, you know anyone can use it. It's inexpensive. It's like less than ten bucks, uh, and it's got this button that you can press, and then there's like this little LED. It's like a screen. It's like a weird like, um, it's like an AI version of an iPod. You know what I mean? It's like kind of like weird and like mutant, um, and it plays uh, kind of random songs from the memory, and they're kind of the speaker's pretty good, but the the tunes are just kind of like your generic classical tunes that have no uh, copyright infringement issues and like make your baby smart, whatever. But we want to have it play Nine Inch Nails or maybe a podcast. We don't know. Whatever you want. Um, so if we did a previous video where we opened it up and we saw what's in it. It's, you know, of course, this blob chip. There's like three LEDs. I mean, look, they have to make it cheap. I don't blame them. It's a single sided paper phenolic board. Um, here's the switch. And then, um, you know, we did some hacking experiment. We're like, oh, you know, can we boost this to run a ESP32 S2? And we tried our I2S BFF to make music and like plug in the speaker. So we know, you know, we basically got a proof of concept of what we wanted to do to replace the brains. Because we thought like, let's make a new circuit board that fits in here. And instead of playing these pre-programmed tunes, you would be able to customize what audio you want to play. So yeah. we can go back to the... Um, this is what it is. Yeah. So it's got a micro SD. It's kind of visible at the top left. And the main processor chip is the ESP32 S2. Um, I thought it'd be cool to have Wi Fi because then once you've enclosed it in the case, you could use Wi Fi. We have a Wi Fi workflow in CircuitPython. Um, and there's also over the air programming, of course, in Arduino. And then you could, you know, once you have it set up to look for your Wi Fi, you could reprogram it. Um, and then also upload new files to the SD card. So you can have like new songs. You can change it out. So your kid gets really tired of the Pixies. Yeah. For example, you could change it to Depeche Mode. Um, you know, and then if they get tired of Depeche Mode, I don't know. I guess they can go to The Cure. And if yeah, they get tired sure. of The Cure, uh, Susie and the Banshees. I mean, like, yeah. there's infinite 80s goth music that you can have your kid play. Uh, so you can put any size SD card, and the ESP32 S2 can definitely play WAV files in CircuitPython over I2S. There's an I2S amplifier, our favorite, that Max98 357, which we adore so much. We put it in so many things. Um, there's a STEM IQT port, so you can attach sensors or devices. Maybe you have it um, read data or send data or have an OLED or whatever you want. Uh, USB-C for uploading code or you know direct communication if you don't want to do this wireless thing. A little boost converter that's kind of on the bottom center there um, that takes the three volt battery because we want to reuse the enclosure. So we'll take the three volt battery pack and boost that up to 3.3 volts because, you know, if you're using rechargeable batteries, it's like 2.6. And we tested it. The ESP32 does not want to run, S2 does not like running off of two uh, rechargeable AA batteries. You really want to have a booster to give it a nice clean 3.3 volts. And then we kind of sprinkled a couple NeoPixels, like five NeoPixels around uh, to have a, kind of the same background animation but it'll be full color not just three yeah. leds a single color because we we like color and then um the outline is the same we kind of you know moved it out a little bit but the same pads for the battery and for the switch connector and then the elastomer so it should be a drop-in replacement and then you know of course it's you can't expect them to make a product like this it would be more expensive than most people want to pay 
but for people who want to hack their toys, um, yeah, this can be like twenty bucks or something, and then you can. Yeah, this is this is a nice gutify the yeah. toy. So you know, kiddo has one of these, and they eventually get tired of the music. Um, you can replace the circuit board in it, wirelessly put any music you want in there. Basically, make your own kiddo Spotify or like whatever it's like it's the music that um you want and then you can over time put different music on there and i think that'll be kind of a neat you know parent kid thing and it's sealed up it's an enclosure that's like battle tested these are super cheap there's like millions of these out there they're never going to change the design either and so i thought this would be a good project enclosure yeah it doesn't change the behavior like maybe a double click does something or like a hold like you can change the behavior a lot easier yeah. um i did make the switch do the amp the gain on the amplifier because there, there's a gain pin on the Mac. So when you put the switch onto low power, it like drops the gain by um, like 90 B. So yeah. uh, that's still, that's still functional. But um, one of the things I wanted to try to do is, is one thing I, I do kind of like about kids toys is you don't have to turn them off. The quiescent current is really, really low. I mean, you use rechargeable batteries anyways, but it would be really neat if it's like, if you forget, you know, you know, you're like, ah, I have so much stuff to do. You're not going to remember to turn it off. And so the ESP32, another reason I like using the S2 is it has very, very low quiescent current when it's in deep sleep mode. And so I have to, you know, I'm going to experiment, but I'm pretty sure that I can make it so when there's no, you know, after it's done playing a song, it goes into this deep sleep mode. And then when you press the button, it'll wake up in between, it should use like 30 or 40 microamperes. So it'll be able to, you know, not as little as whatever this 8051 yeah. clone core is, but um, enough that it should be able to run for a couple of weeks on a low battery. I don't know. It could be kind of interesting. I mean, you could also like use text to speech. Like when you press the button, they could say, you know, what the weather is going to be, or it could have like personalized messages. I don't know. Like, I like the idea of like reusing these like really durable enclosures. And then we have, you know, they're, 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 I don't, you know, they're not like waterproof, but they're weatherproof. And then, um, using the Wi-Fi workflow to reprogram them. And then, you know, these use AA batteries. Yeah. So this will be kind of a fun, you know, mod mod a toy type thing yeah. um, that you'll be able to do a lot and, you know, give these as gifts to people. I mean, here you go. Um, there's some fun songs. Emojin Heap has a neat song that they uh, engineered to help put babies to sleep. You could just have a single serving thing where it's like, here you go. Yeah, this we plays can a really have a nice you know, drift, you know, the, like, yeah, the there's drift another. song. They could play it yeah. on loop. And then another thing is, is that you can change the timeouts. So I don't know. I think it would be kind of fun. Like we've done quite a bit of toy hacking. And, you know, it's interesting. It's like toy toy hacking and circuit bending is kind of like an old yeah. style. Like, I remember in like the, you know, the early make years, that was like a really big thing. People do toy hacking. They'd open toys and like change yeah. resistors and values to try this to... This will retain that, someone asked, this will retain the baby proofness of it because yeah. you're just opening up, changing up the circuit board and then sealing it up again. That's why the it's, Wi-Fi is so cool is that yeah. as an adult, you can go in and you can change the code over the circuit Python yeah. Wi-Fi workflow. But... Um, like the kiddo, like can still chew on. Yeah, it's kind of neat that baby toys are all screws. They, they, and it's like it's funny. It's actually repairable, even though that's probably one of the last things people repair a lot. Anyways, um, so then we have a little bit of an update. Um, I'll just play the videos. Thirty-eight seconds. This is the uh, Teddy Ruxpin modification that we're doing. Short version. There's these Bluetooth animatronic bears on eBay for. $20 or less. It's a rebooted Teddy Ruxpin company went out of business. So they're just sitting around. You can't put anything on them custom uh, until now. So this is uh, our progress with that project. Not this Wednesday, but the 10 days ago, Wednesday um, is when I got the audio working in the morning and I don't see which version this is. So um, now let's see this. Icky, sicky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum. Bubble gum, icky, sicky, sicky, sicky bubble gum makes your hands stick to your head. So now I've got it uh, playing custom audio. Um, so that's a, a song, Icky, Sticky Bubble Gum, that uh, our Ada Kiddo likes to listen to. Yeah, so that last picture, I went over to Mid Journey and I typed in Teddy Ruxpin. Miss Rachel and I was playing around with a couple different images. I'm like, oh, that's pretty neat. That's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to dress up the Teddy Ruxpin as Miss Rachel. If you're familiar with uh, Miss Rachel, she's a music teacher that does uh, like singing videos for kids. And so I made the um, the graphic. And uh, of course, you know, I had to then later on deal with um, dudes on social media that says, why do you have to change the gender of the bear? Because that's what you do now. You wait around until there's a picture of a teddy bear that's in overalls 
and you care about if it's a boy teddy bear or a girl teddy bear because that's what people do on the internet now that's where we're at so anyways that's what that that image is i thought it was cute i think this is cute <laughs> yeah so anyways that's uh this week's my little hacker my little hacker my little hacker building with you is magical